Hey there, my guys, gals, non-binary pals. It is V Coops of Mine here, also known as V Coops for short, and welcome to Life is Strange. Um, this is another kind of old decision-making game because uh, despite the fact that I can't make a decision to save my own life, I can apparently make them for characters after I agonize for like 30 minutes. I don't know why I do this to myself, but hopefully you all enjoy it. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a bit of an older game by, uh, by Square Enix. Um, which has, I know has made other games that I've enjoyed a lot, but I can't remember what any of them are at the moment because I, I'm bad at things. Um, but it's a really cool game. Um, I, I have like a vague idea of like some of the stuff that happens. There's like a tornado and it has something to do with pictures or photography, but also like kind of time travel. Something like that. I, I honestly don't know a whole lot. I know that there's a character with blue hair. Um, I think Chloe... Either way. Um, as you can tell, I don't know much. Um, I, I think this is like literally that's my one superpower is that I have an amazing ability to, through no active effort of my own, not get spoiled for things. Um, so, you know, for example, uh, I haven't watched season, uh, I haven't watched the Game of Thrones since the end of season four, and I still don't actually know what happened. I, I don't have any clue. Not a one. It's just my superpower. Um, <clears throat> and this is not an invitation for you to spoil me. I'm just saying, like, I don't know. Um, but anyway, so uh, with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and start on this. I don't know what it is. I don't know how long this game is, so we're just going to play through as I've been doing with all of the other games that I've played, and hopefully it'll be a lot of fun. Downloadable content? Whose game is that? Did my friend play? I'm confused. We're just going to do this September of 2017 I don't know I really don't know um, let's go ahead health and options settings subtitle language subtitles normal okay good stuff that's really all I want um, okay yeah New game. Oh, Polaroid. Story based game that features player choice, consequence of all your in. Oh, is it consequence of all your in game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Are we starting with the tornado thing? I thought the... What? Okay. Yeah, lighthouse. This way. I feel like I should be a little bit more of a hurry. That's a big boy! Not 
can make it. Can I? Just a really big ass water spout? Whoa! That was so surreal. Famously called the film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now. Can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. I can't believe I still have this she pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. You think it was dark. My Seriously, little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. Of you in, a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. I haven't kept up with my and journal as much as I should. Me. I do Isn't love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. Sure. Capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence. It's not exactly going to be had subtle, but eye. yeah. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Yeah. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did I know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> Yay, teenagers. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Ooh, there's a whole lot in here. Good lord. Okay, let's see. 2013, oh gosh. July 10th, 2013, I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this, were, this would be a rave, even though I've never been to one. But who cares, because I got into Blackwell Academy. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be so excited, since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town, but when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought I was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. They're so weird, but they're happy. And this means extra financial support because they didn't have to, they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes and if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have, oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I am going to Blackwell Academy. Aw, <laughs> she's cute. August 18th, 2013, so this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too, I just haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I chose to go to the smallest back in a town I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends, but I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her. When we would play pirates in our room and in the woods, it seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking with coffee shops. But Seattle wasn't like a fable, au contraire. 
Now, Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world to study photography under Mark Jefferson. Ugh, sigh. Insert hearts and flowers. <laughs> Plus, there will be a cool, diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates. Or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple great friends here, but it's time to ship out. <laughs> oh, dear. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. The 25th of August, 2013. <laughs> Shit is crazy here crazy with a keg. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. Mom and dad are getting a little too excited. I'm clearing out my room, though I caught mom crying when she was packing my shirts. Uh, that made me want to cry like a little girl and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes and just raiding a thrift store to build up a new max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings, maybe date a cute foreign exchange artiste from Paris or Rome. I can do anything unless I get busted. You're like 17, maybe. Please, please chill, <laughs> you poor child. And there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared, but excited. And then I don't feel like crying at all. I get the tingles all down my arms, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. September 2nd, 2013, 12.07 AM. Ah, my first entry for my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell. Whew. I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small but mine, and I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of photos. I did meet some of my door mates, though I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. And September 3rd, Blackwell sucks ass. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn, the day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate, Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa. And how could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled. I could feel instant judgment when she was looking at my raggedy ass clothes, as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be her own reality show. Ugh. I'm guessing Victoria is the person who corrected, uh, who, who gave the correct answer uh, just a bit ago. So that wasn't fun, along with my general social unease. I thought it would be easier to be back. Call the way ambulance. <laughs> I don't want this day to end all woe is Max. It was incredible to walk along across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. Sigh. There's more to tell, but journal will forgive me. I'm truly wiped out. So on the 4th, I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. <laughs> at least give us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he's a serious geek. Plus, he's dark and witty. He comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a good study partner. Or a good friend. I'll need at least one based on the click action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought. You're an 18 and, and, and a junior? Okay. Early birthday, I guess. At least I got to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip, just says what he thinks and expects us to as well. And I think he's a genius. Oh my god, I want to marry him. <laughs> just joking. This one class is worth all the social dysfunction. <laughs> yep. Oh, you poor child. Ooh, pretty. 15th, September 15th. Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teachers grade harder just to stop you from feeling special, but Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like they're honored guests of Blackwell. Bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone with way more money and attitude, if that's possible. His family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts give a shitload of bank to Blackwell, so Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. I'd get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of this silly elite vortex club that puts on popular parties, and so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. 
I didn't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall and in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly, and it makes her more beautiful than the biatches here like Victoria who think beauty is just your face and outfit. See, I'm already playing the drama games. No more. The 23rd. Finally had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. A perfect blue sky day. I always forget how great I feel after taking pictures when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes photo contest he wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell, and of course I'm scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple of weeks before the deadline in October, so I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. Sigh. And September 30th? I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class, of all things. Like, I'd give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to take my place in class. Miss Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can kinda understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life. Unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more, even if it means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now, how much homework are you avoiding? October 1st. October, my favorite month. The best weather of, all of the year. I love watching the leaves change colors, turning into tiny flames, but it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. Yep. I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon. Kate let me borrow The October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. <laughs> But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures of one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or a Vortex Club stroke fest swimming party. Or is that backstroke fest? You're so funny, Max. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks at Blackwell Academy. As my parents love telling me on loop, you have all the time in the world. That's neat. Okay. So these are people and you get details. Oh, that's neat. Uh, okay, Max. Uh, Max Caulfield, never since I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I've always seen the world through my own lens finder. Maybe it's a way for me to be part of the world, but at a safe distance. For some reason, I was always drawn to old analog camera gear rather than digital tech. I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love most. I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm in great company, right? Now I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors. On a scholarship, even. I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever, at least until I left without taking her, talking to her once in five years, and it feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. So I'm 18 now, an official adult, even though I don't always feel wise or mature, and I'm ready to begin a whole new life here with a retro camera at my side. Say cheese! That's cute. Not only is Mark Jefferson one of the best photographers in the world, he's also my teacher and one of the reasons I wanted to come to Blackwell. How often do you get to be mentored by one of your inspirations? I've always loved his deco and goth style, and he's so versatile with all of his incredible print and advertising work. Still, Jefferson can be a bit condescending. He's pretty hip for his age, but kind of aloof and sometimes pretentious. He has a smug smile when he thinks he's right. But I do think he's preparing us for how tough it is to be a full-time artist. He acts like he understands my own work and obsession with analog images. He really wants me to enter a photo in this Everyday Heroes contest, but I've done a good job of avoiding that. The winner gets to fly to San Francisco to represent Blackwell Academy and get national exposure. I'd like to think my work could be good enough to win, and I'm honored Jefferson even bugged me about the contest. I forgot if I've ever seen Kate Marsh smile or laugh in the past month. She's really sweet and nice, even though the other students make fun of her abstinence campaign? Okay. Uh, even if they act immature, everybody at Blackwell are seniors, not high school freshmen. She gets a lot of shit, in fact. I know she's involved in a lot of religious groups, but she doesn't preach to me, so I don't care. But she's been extra quiet and introverted in the past couple weeks. She looks like she's in zombie mode. I wish I could help her, but I can barely help myself. I wonder if all the bullying has worn her down. I can see how it would. I have to make an effort to talk to her more often, maybe invite her to tea or a movie. Although she's an adult, I bet she's not allowed to watch R-rated films. Okay, so it's a seniors program. Interesting. <laughs> Shoosh, I'm dreaming. Then there's Victoria Chase, the elite of Blackwell Academy and a total bitch. And I hate saying that. I just don't know why somebody who's rich and beautiful needs to be so fucking mean. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. 18-year-olds in a prestigious academy should be evolving into artists and scholars, not reality show contestants. Victoria does everything for maximum drama. She actually wastes her time calling me out in class and taunting Kate Marsh. For reals, I wish her parents could see her in action. They cut off that trust fund fast. 
But again, she's in the Vortex Club, and they seem to own the school, so maybe that's why she doesn't give a shit. The odd thing is that she does know art and photography. She can even say all those French names that break my tongue. Her work is a little cold, but she has a good eye. She also has an eye for Mr. Jefferson, which is so obvious that I'm embarrassed for her. Mm, don't do things with your teacher's kids. Don't do it. Don't do it. She does everything but sit in his lap. He keeps his distance, though. We can all tell she's trying to win the Everyday Heroes contest. I'm sure it drives her crazy when there's somebody she can't buy or seduce. Ha. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, these are things that I can try to take pictures of, maybe? Because these aren't existing pictures. Weird. Uh, places, I guess? Oh, messages? Very special 18th birthday. Oh, now she's 18. Oh! Don't now, but still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. You okay? Do you want to get tea later today? Absolutely. I'll be free after four. Talk to you later. Happy birthday, Maxine. I can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Exo and Warren. Make sure you check Necromantic on my flash drive. Mwahaha. Hey, Mad Max, let's bush it up. <laughs> Wait, I have to set for, study for a physics test. So if you bust anything, we'll have to measure its velocity. <laughs> Don't ignore this message. <laughs> okay, I like Warren, too. Do you want to meet for coffee after school? I need an excuse to not study, please. <laughs> I the like first Warren. American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. Nice. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max... I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> I see you pretending not to see me. <sighs> oh. I like this so far. Oh, what, what is, what is? Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Of course, Victoria has to have the, I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Christ, that is over $5,000 for a camera. Uh, good lord. No, oh, computer? Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That's pretty. Kate, okay, do you want to talk? Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Hi, Kate. Oh, hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Dear Kate, we love your porn video, XOXO Blackwell Academy. Oh. That's mean. Huh, this might make a cool shot. Yeah, okay, I was right. So it does, like, if you find whatever the thing is, you can take a picture of it. That's neat. Alright, um. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Alright, well, I'm gonna just, uh. Man, he even has the best Plasma HGTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Interesting. Are you an everyday hero? Find out. Enter now. I see you, Max Caulfield. 
don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Damn. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Okay, we'll find something. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henry Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith? Good to see Avedon among the masters. Golly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. You didn't tell me how cute I look yet. I was about to. I'm not paying you you Welcome to the real world. Just cute. <sighs> then I might send you a special picture. Man, I've... He plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. It's especially disappointing when she's not here. I like it. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Of I hate having everybody American see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. A kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. That's Dana talking to. I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. Stella is always deep in her nose. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Poor Daniel. He's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. It looks like she's been gone for months. Missing from Arcadia Bay, day missing April 22nd, 2013. 19 years old, 5'5, 110, blonde hair, hazel eyes, tattoo on calf of the dragon and a star on the inside of the left wrist. Oh, tattoo on calf of the dragon and a star on the inside of the left wrist. Rachel Missed the poetry jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. Since ever since my, my bathroom, all of my school books, my new tablet was taken from the cafeteria after I left on the camera. I really need to start from school. My tablet has a lot of very personal pics of my little cat, so I am going to pay a small cash reward. No questions asked. If you have any details or would like to confess, you know who I am. You know who and where I am. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Say we're creating a bay over the past decades. Climate change has altered the Oregon coastline, including fish and fauna. This has helped estimate the state's fishing industry, especially in our Canada Bay. Raise your voice against pollution and save our historic town. Don't let your town down. I wonder what actually happened to her. Oh, put up a lot of those. 
thing I left my AK at home. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. Hey, Miss Grant. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Cards and missing person photos. There's the lighthouse again. Come see the light. The Bigfoot stomp. I should develop some school spirit. Go team. Yay, Halloween, my favorite time of year. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. No. Blackwell sure takes its swimming seriously. But to otters are cute. Go otters. Uh, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the board. Like otters, like new tablet for sale. <laughs> it pays five gigs of catfish. Aww. Driving a car by the Best singer in Oregon ever. Best singer ever in Oregon looking for best guitarist ever from a kick ass man to take over the world. Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. To all of you, American girls in movies. No one can tell. Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. With shiny smiles and plastic buddies. I wish I had. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. That's good. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the bathroom. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> now who would bother to write that crap? I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? <sighs> Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Oh, come on. Ooh, that's pretty. Butterfly. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something I like hate that. Victoria Chase. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. They're so pretty. Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. Why are you in the girls' bathroom? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. Excuse me? So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. 
Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who yes. you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! What the fuck? What the fuck just happened? What has happened? <laughs> What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From colors. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, oh, shit. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Oh, no. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Oh, that's interesting. I did it. Can you give I me actually a did it. A photographer who perfectly captured a human the human time machine. And and Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Diane. freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? <laughs> because of her Keep images of hope. It's still the same stupid it's picture. Totally so when I took my selfie, place. Jefferson asked me a question. If, saw humanity as torture, if right? he does again, I'll know and this is for me. real. <laughs> Keep that to yourself. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. First. I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. Who knows their Jefferson wants to keep me Louis after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Okay, let's try that. Well, aren't you to rewind faster? Well, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Can now. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Suck on Max. that, Victoria. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. <laughs> mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of that. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. It is indeed. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Damn. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid. 
Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given yourself the output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand picks by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Press L1 to quickly undo the previous action using the rewind. Okay. You still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is starting I see you, Max Caulfield. Photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Yep. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. By today? Yep, all the right answers. I hope I have Truly. enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face, I shredded my photo, then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? Uh, what are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Tell I need a hammer to break it I'm open! So of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. There's the Nobody hammer. Now I can break this goddamn glass. Ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Okay. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Okay. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not. Interesting. Okay. Freak out. Do not freak out. Do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. a little stressed out are you okay i'm i'm just a little worried about my future you're sweating pinballs is that all you're thinking about you can always be up front with me max or have you done something wrong is that it well max talk to me I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. 
Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family. I don't and care. And one of Blackwell's most honored I students. I don't care. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter Will personally. You? Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Will you? That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? a little stressed out I just got sick in class um, female trouble except you're wandering around like a zombie and do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me it's the truth I felt dizzy in mr. Jefferson just class. tell me what you're hiding you can trust me there's nothing to hide I got sick it happens you know there's that teen toot again you know I've I've heard enough don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Okay, so it's like either... It's like either choice is kind of like you get screwed just in different ways. But I would much rather have it be with somebody else also getting screwed than just me alone. Also, legitimately, you look fuck a little stressed out. I just saw Nathan press. Also, legitimately, fuck this guy for causing that much of a stink over the fact that I didn't want to tell you what was wrong, quote unquote, because it could have legitimately just been that or that like I'm feeling upset about something that I don't want to talk to my principal about. Like, fuck you. So sure, we're going to put Nathan in this whole thing and he can just deal with that. Although given the response he had, probably nothing's going to actually come of it because God forbid we talk to the prestigious people. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Wait a minute. Rachel Amber for Oh, interesting. Uh, we got some more stuff now. I'm not going to read through all of these anymore, but I will pause so that if you want, you can pause and read all, through all of this. Um, Nathan Prescott. <laughs> He's 19. Sorry. He's 19 and already a scary fucking brick. Um, oh, school days. David. Mmm, lovely. He treats everybody like they committed a crime they're about to. Kicked out of the kicked out of the army. Ooh. Bro dude swaggers everywhere. She's a guy like that, Mary. Okay, and the principal. Seems to be suspicious of me at all times. Uh, 
I thought I smelled alcohol in his breath, but that could have been his cologne, right? Interesting. I wonder why he's, like, so suspicious of her, then. That's weird. Oof. Yeah. Okay, so this is all about just everything that happened today. Interesting. Okay, so I guess that gets sort of updated as things go along. Um, Miss Grant, what's up? Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. Dorm rooms? <clears throat> That's crazy. I get why schools should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms. It's a slippery slope, and it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. The Native Americans? The tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Are we sure about that? Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and thrived. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? <laughs> Yeah, I'll sign. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. I agree with that. Why will that action have consequences? This is making me so nervous. Hey, Max, can you get my, my flash drive? I mean, I need some space. Uh, I need some info and space. Hello, sorry, running late, insane day. I'll meet you in the lot. You're looking cool, you'll see. My camera will be ready to see you shortly. I hope so. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. I will, but first I'm going to just kind of amble about. Oh, okay, your objectives are put in here like little post-it notes that she's using to remind herself. That's really cool. I like that. I like a lot of what I'm seeing so far in this game. Like, I, I'm really enjoying... What the hell? That's one of his famous shots. I love how it captures the moment. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Hey, it's Daniel. Daniel is always drawing something. He makes- What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. Sure, we're in I'm an art honor, school. Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait, oh, she was a natural. So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Uh, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute muse. Thanks. Oh, that's a good posture. I mean, yeah, we're, we're at an art school. Like, good. what's your talent? Good. I 
best Aww. portrait ever. Why will... I don't understand. I do not understand. Clever. That's Luke Parker. Zachary pushed him into a locker last week. Go bullies. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. Oh, sorry. I won't bother you. Dorms are that way, so I'll go that way in a minute. I think his name is Evan. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? What? Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographer images, but you should know the difference. Good try. Wrong answer. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Okay, let's go with this guy. Uh, Steve McCurry? Unless he could travel back in time. McCurry was born five years after the falling soldier picture. McCurry also shoots in color. In other words, no portfolio. I know this is dumb, hey, but he's Evan. a pretentious ass, so I want to Let's see to if you're worthy of it, Max. Win now. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. <sighs> These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Okay. Mr. Pretentious. All right, fine. What else do we got? in building, parking, ready to talk to Daniel. There's Justin and his skater posse. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Thrash? You mean stage diving or... You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple no slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? I came to no slide, but I'd love to see somebody do a tray flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah, I just can't skate worth shit. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Yeah, the tree flip. Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Oh, ow. Oh. Ooh. Okay. All right, got one of my pictures. I bet the Black Wolf founders would shit cats if they saw today's student body walking around like zombies on their phones. Oh, shut up. 
This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody got their wish. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. Is that the squirrel I'm supposed to take a picture of? I... I thought there was a... No, oh, maybe it's a different picture. I don't know. I have no idea how, like, spaced out these things are supposed to be. Hey, Hayden. <laughs> there she is! The Retro Selfie Master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. What the hell is the Vortex Club, anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with the Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like. You know. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Is he? Fuck the haters. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know Not you, these Hayden. Ones. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Brooke actually has a drone? Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Honey, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. 
Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Honey, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Fine. Squirrel. <laughs> the heck is that graffiti? <clears throat> Oh, that's not nice. Poor little otter. Ew, gross. At least switch to E6. Don't smell kids. Just don't do it. Swimming, swimming. Really? And this is where the otters perform their aquatic magic. I'm sure this poster has stopped millions of bullies. Bully much. No bully thinks they're a bully, so think about that before you bully. If you think you've become a bully, please go to www.bullyforyou.or. We'll stand up for you. Now I have to go back to the dorm. This day never ends. Dream? Hmm. So bizarre to be back here after five years. I thought I could just fit right back in at school. But with all this shit going on, I'm even more an outsider. And who can I confide in besides my journal and my camera? Man, these are supposed to be the best years of my life. This is what it's like to be alone and feel lonely at once. Uh, it'll be okay, Max. And despite what everyone says, high school is not supposed to be the best, the only best years of your life. They can be, but they don't have to be. And that's okay. Because it turns out, everybody's different. So, if you're having a hard time with something, then that's not the time that's the best years of your life. That's not the best that it's going to be, because it's, it's high school. It's a short time period. It's honestly... For a lot of people, it's not the best years. And that's also okay. Because once you get out of that environment where you're forced to be in high school all the time, that's when you have the chance to be who you really are. That's when you have the chance to thrive, to, to actually have the best years of your life. And they get to mean so much more because then you get to share it and do it with people that you actually want to be around all the time and that you're not just around because you're all going to the same school. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Well, I know I haven't actually done that much. <laughs> I know I haven't actually done that much with this episode um, because there's just been a whole lot of, of buildup and a whole lot of information and stuff like that to find out. Um, but it's, it's really cool cool um it also makes me nervous as hell because as we've discussed i don't really like decision making i don't really like having to make these on the fly decisions and every decision here apparently no matter how big or small has a consequence of some kind and that is <clears throat> so disconcerting to me um so 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 disconcerting to me uh but you know whatever it'll be okay i guess hopefully um but yeah so i'm excited to see what happens um i'm already liking warren even though i haven't talked to him in person yet um i am utterly baffled as to where the powers that she got came from i guess from the butterfly i don't know i don't know if we find that out <laughs> i don't know um i'm liking that her her <laughs> Her motivations for using said powers extend from the quite good moralistic of I need to save somebody's life from being killed by some asshole 
to know I need to get this answer right because fuck you. <laughs> um, it's fine. It's fine. Um, so yeah. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna keep on going through here. I have literally no idea how long this series is gonna end up being because I don't know how long this game is. I believe I got the full version, so there's that. Um, but we're gonna go through and see what's going on. Um, I'm recognizing the name Chloe, so I'm wondering if we'll get to like see her again um, and stuff like that. Um, was the girl in the back there, Chloe? I feel like I've seen something with the tag. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but anyway. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we're going to keep on keeping on with this, uh, see how we're going through. I'm going to try to get all of the p pictures that um, you can take for your journal, but I, I'm i sure that I'll miss at least a few. Um, I'm hoping I don't, but you never know with these things. There's always like one that's it tucked behind somebody's like left ear lobe or some crap, and you're just like, how was I supposed to find that without a tutorial? But whatever. Um, either way, thank you very much, everybody, for joining me here today. Um, down in the description below is a link to the Black Lives Matters uh, uh, card website, which has as the, all of the information, education, uh, resource um, options, and donation options that you could ever want or ask for. Uh, so check that out if you have a chance today. Uh, other than that, um, I hope that you'll come around next time. Maybe even drop me a like on this video. Maybe subscribe if you want to see more of the stuff that I post. It'd be really wonderful, but you don't have to. It's totally fine. Um, and uh, I think, as I've said in all of my other videos, be kind to one another, be safe, and be happy, and I will see you in our next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>